we're gonna read a house is a house for me by mary ann Huberman and illustrated the pictures are by betty faster a house is a house for me a house is a house for me A house is a house for me. A house is a house for me. It says a hill. It, a hill is a house for an ant. An ant. A hive is a house for a bee. A hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. So, a hill is a house for an ant. A hive is a house for a bee. And a hole is a house for a mole or a mouse. So these are different types of homes. The hill, the hive, and the hole. So these are different types of house. So we have the hill, the hive, and the hole. The ant hill for the ant, the hive for the bee, and the hole for the mouse or the mole. A house is a house for me. A web is a house for a spider. A bird built its nest in a tree. There is nothing so snug as a bug in a rug. And a house is a house for me. Oh, let's see. So, this is saying a house is a house for me. So this is a house for her. So she likes, so she likes her little house. So she likes her little tree house. Look, this is a tree house. And this is a girl. She has a tree house. Look. Because her house is up in a tree. And this is a house for her. So a web is a house for a spider. So a web is a house for a spider. A bird built its nest in a tree. So a bird built its nest in a tree. Mm -hmm. And a spider is a spider. Yeah, so... Yeah, so bird built its nest in a tree. And then a house is a house for me. So they're pretending to create a home. So these are all different types of houses too. The tree house, the nest, the, the bird nest. And, the, and then also the, the bug is under the rug. So, he, so, uh, so it's making it its home. A coop, that's a house for a chicken. A sty, that's a house for a sow. A fold, that's where sheep all gather to sleep. A barn, that's a house for a cow. It's also, of course, a house for a horse. So, oh, so here they're telling us that a coop is a house for a chicken. So a chicken coop. Oh, excuse me. So a chicken coop is a house for a chicken. So they're saying a. So then they're saying that a fold is where sheep gather, and a barn is a house for a cow. It's also, of course, a house for a a horse. So the barn. Yep, that's a big sheep. So these are different types of home houses right here for for animals. The bar, the the sty, the coop. Mm -hmm. It's a big sheep. That's a big sheep. A 
house for a dog, a dog, a dog is a house for a flea. What, but when a dog strays, uh, a flea sometimes stings. And then it may move in on me. So it's saying, so it's saying that a kennel, a kennel is a house for a dog. So a kennel, we said, is another way of saying dog house. So this is a dog house. A dog is a house for a flea. So a dog is a house for a flea because flea, dogs get fleas. And when a, a dog gets fleas, the flea stays on the dog. So, uh, so the dog is a house for a flea. But when a dog strays, a flea sometimes stays and then it may move on to me. So that's the kennel, the dog house, and the dog. Who can be the house for the flea? A house for a mule is a shed. A castle is a house for a duchess. A bed bug, a bed bug bends down in a bed. So it's telling us that house, houses for rabbits are hutches. So, so hutches are houses for rabbits. So it's called. Hutches, houses for rabbits. A horse, a house for a mule is a shed. So a house for a mule is a shed. A castle, a house for a duchess. So a castle is a house for a king, a queen, a princess, a prince. And a bed bugs down in a bed. And the bed bugs house is a bed. Mosquitoes like mud holes or puddles. Whales need an ocean or a sea. A fish or a snake may make may make do with lake, but a house is a house for me. Oh, so my friends, we said that. Mosquitoes like puddles, mud holes or puddles. So this is uh, so, so mosquitoes like mud holes or puddles. So this is, this is a mosquito's house. Whales need an ocean or sea. So whales like ocean or seas. Ocean or sea is their home for the whale. So the ocean or the sea is a home for a whale. A fish or a snake may may make do with a lake. So a snake or a fish, a lake could be their home. Yeah, so we said this is a mosquito. The mosquito's house. So the mosquito's house could be the mud holes or puddles. The whales in the ocean or sea. And then the fish home could be a lake. So these are different types of homes. Yep, a lake for the yep, a lake for the for the fish or the snake. And the ocean for the well, a shell is a dwelling for shellfish, for oysters and lobsters and clams. For snails, has for each snail has a shell, and each turtle as well. But not only lions or lambs. Lions live out in, in the open. Monkeys live up in a tree. Hippos live down in a river. Now, what do you know about me? Oh, so they mentioned so many animals here and so many homes. So they said, let's learn about. So they said, a shell is a dwelling for a shellfish. So a shell is a house for a shellfish. For oysters and lobsters and clams and also 
A shell is a home for shellfish, oysters, lobsters, and clams. And then it said, lions live out in the open. So lions live out in the open. Monkeys live up in a tree. Hippos live down in a river. Let's see what else. Let's see. An igloo's house for an Eskimo. So an igloo is house for an Eskimo. A teepee is a house for a Cree. A pebble's house for a Hopi. And a wigman may hold a mohi. A garbage, a garage is a house for a car or a truck. A hangar's house for a plane. A dock is or a slip is a house for a ship. And a terminal is house for a train. Yeah, these are so many houses. So, a Nagel's house for an Eskimo. A teepee's house for a cream. And then it's saying a garage's house for a truck or a car. A hay guard's house for a plane, because planes need to be stored somewhere too. A dock. So a dock is a house for a for a ship, the dock, because ships dock. And a terminal is a house for a train. The terminal, you catch the train at the station or the terminal. That's your house. A husk is a house for a corn ear. A pod is a place for a pea. A nut shelf, a, a hut for a hickory nut, but what is a shelter for me? So it's saying that a husk is a house for a corn ear, a pod is a place for a pea, the pea pods. So peas, so the, the peas are in pea pods, in pea pods. These pea pods that you peel open to eat, that's a house for a pea. A nut shells a hut for hickory nuts. So the nuts you see over here, the nuts over here, those are the nutshell, the outer part of the nut, the nutshell. And this is the pea, the pea pod that you open up to get the pea out. And the husk is a husk for the corn. Here, that you, the husk that you take out to eat the corn. A glove is a house for a hand, a hand. A stocking is a house for a knee. A shoe or boot is a house for a foot. And a house is a house for me. Uh, so it's saying that a glove is a house for a hand. So glove is a house for a hand because you put your glove, your hand on, uh, your hands in the glove. A stocking is a house for a knee, so the stocking is a house for a knee because you wear your stockings. A shoe or a boot is a house for a foot, so a shoe or a boot is a house for the foot. A box is a house for a tea bag. A teapot's house for some tea. If you pour me in a cup and I drink it all up, then the tea house will turn into me. No. So here's the 
here, oh. So here it says, a box is a house for a tea bag. A teapot's house for some tea. So the teapot is a house for tea because that's where you put the, because that's where you put the tea in. If you pour a cup and I'll drink it all up, the tea house will turn into me. So, so the teapot has for some tea because you put tea in the teapot. So that's where it belongs. So that's its house. Gardens are houses for crackers. Castles are houses for kings. The more that I think about houses, the more things are houses for things. So look, so gardens are houses for crackers. So we put crackers in, in gardens. So we put cracker, we put, we put crackers in gardens, these boxes. And then castles are houses for kings and queens. And princesses. And princesses, yes. And, and princesses. Yep, and the cartons are houses for crackers. And if you get started in thinking, I think you will find it is true that the more that you think about houses for things, the more things are houses to you. So it's saying that, and, you, and if you get started thinking, the more houses you'll find. So the more, so, and if you get started in thinking, I think you'll find it's true that the more you think about houses, of things, the more things that are houses to you. So look, he's thinking about different types of houses here. He's thinking about different types of houses. So look, he's thinking about the salad belongs in a bowl. The 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 glove belongs for the bowl because you can catch the ball with the glove. A chick belongs in a in an egg. A basket is house for eggs. Um, a salad is a house for in a bowl. That a toothpaste and a and a toothbrush go together. Groceries go in a bag. So he's thinking of different types of things that belong together. Barrels are houses for pickles. And bottles are houses for jam. A pot is a spot for potatoes. A sandwich is home for some ham. So look. So barrels. So barrels are houses for. Barrels are houses for. What did I say? For barrels are houses for. What did I read? It said barrels are houses for pickles. Barrels are houses for pickles. And bottles are houses for jam. A pot is is a spot for potatoes, and a sandwich is home for some ham. So this is the barrel. Look at all the pickles in the barrel. A cookie jar is home to the cookies. The bread box is home to the bread. My coat is a house for my body. My hat is a house for my head. So it's a, a cookie jar is house for cookies. The bread box is home for, to bread. The coat is a house for my body, and the, my hat is home for my head. Perhaps I have started far-fetching. Perhaps I am stretching things some. A mirror is a house for reflection. A throat is house 
before I hum. Yeah. But once you get started in thinking, you think about, you think and you think and you think. Yeah. How many, how pockets are houses for pennies and pens can be houses for ink? So pockets, so he says pockets are houses for pennies, right? Houses are, are pockets are houses for pennies and pens are houses for ink because you have to have ink to use the pen. How peaches are houses for peach pits and sometimes are houses for worms. How trash cans are houses for garbage and garbage makes houses for germs. So, so peaches are houses for, peaches are houses for peach pits, the peach pits, the, the thing in the middle, right here, the pits. So peaches are houses for peach pits and sometimes are houses for wor worms because if the peach goes bad, worms can make it, the, make it their home. How trash cans are houses for garbage, trash cans are houses for garbage. And garbage makes houses for germs. There's a worm. There's a worm in here. It's a worm. Mm. Oh yeah, right here. and roasters and tablecloths, toasters and tins. So look all these different things that can be homes for different things. So envelopes could be home for males, earmuffs could be a home for the ears, eggshells could be a house for the ears. Once you get started and thinking this way, it seems that whatever you see, it's either a house or it lives in a, in a house, and a house is a house for me. So everything around us has a home. Everything has a home that's around us. A book is a house for a story. A rose is a house for a smell. My head is a house for a secret, a secret I will never tell. So it says a, a book is a house for a story. So a book is a house for a story. A rose is a house for a smell because you smell when you smell the rose, it has a nice, beautiful smell. And my head is a house for a Secrets, because look, someone's telling her a secret, and she has to keep the secret in her head not to tell anyone. A flower, a, a flower is at home in the garden, a donkey is at home in a stall. So a flower is at home in the, in the garden. And a donkey is, and a, a donkey's at home in a stall. Each creature knows that's known has a house of its own. So each animal has a house of its own. Look at all the animals, so all of these animals have houses of their, of their own. So there's a giraffe, monkeys, deer, penguins, chickens. So all these animals have their own homes, have houses of their own. Whoa. 
So they all have houses of their own. And the earth is a house for all, for us all. So the earth is where we all live. We all live on planet earth. So it's all of our homes. The animals and our home as well. The end.